Good morning, student. Today we are going to start standard nine. Okay. Subject mathematics standard nine. We are going to start with the chapter number one, and our chapter is a number system. So, student, you have studied about the, all the types of the number in the, your lower classes. Okay. So again, we will discuss about the number system in the nine standard. So first, we will discuss the, all the types of the numbers. We will study about the different different types of number in the seven standard, six standard, eight standard. All the classes you study. Okay. So now, first, we will start with the natural number. Okay. So first, I will explain about the number system. So in the number system, you study natural number. Okay. After that, the whole numbers, integers. Fractions, rational numbers. So all the types of the number we have to study here, and that is known as the our number system. Okay. So student in the fifth standard and the sixth standard, first you study about the natural number. Okay. So whenever we have to count any things, okay. So what we start from the which number? We always start with the one. Okay. Here for example, suppose we have to. Uh, Start uh, count your uh, class strength. Okay, then what we'll do? We we'll start with the one, two, three. Your teacher has given me my uh, your teacher has given you roll number, roll number one, two, three. They're not given from the zero. Okay, so any number we we'll start with the one, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all the numbers are known as the natural numbers. Okay, so this number are also known as the counting number. So why counting number? Because we use for the count the things, okay. Before when we have to count the students, number of the students. So we start with the one, two, three, okay. So their numbers, natural numbers, are also known as the counting numbers. Okay. Now, suppose if we add zero to the natural number, if the natural number is given, and if we add the zero, means the number start with the zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, dot dot dot. So this number are known as the whole numbers. So what is student? We study about the two types of the number. First, natural number. We start with the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continue. And the whole number. Whole number means a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. What is everybody? Difference between the natural number and the whole number. Natural number always start with the one. And the whole number start with the zero. Okay. Now, now we have to discuss about the integers. Okay. You might have studied up in the eighth standard also about the integers, six standard, seven standard. Okay, so integer, so all this natural number. What I said, natural number also known as the counting number, and that natural number they are also known as the positive integers. They are known as the positive numbers. What natural number are known as the positive numbers. Now we have many positive things. So whatever positive, that has the opposite also, and the opposite of the positive, they are known as the Negative. So if we write the opposite of the natural number, so it will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five like this. Okay. So you got the another types of the number. These are the opposite of the positive. Means they are known as the negative numbers. Okay. For example, suppose it is given a three. So three is the which type of the number? Okay. It is the natural number, positive number. So minus three will become as the negative number. So all the positive as the negative. So opposite of the positive numbers, they are known as the negative numbers. Now, if we make a group of the positive numbers, negative numbers, and the zero, what? If we make a group of the positive numbers, negative numbers, and the zero, so all the numbers are together known as the integers. This number are known as the integers. What is everybody? What is integer? So integers is a group of the numbers which include the positive numbers, negative numbers, and the zero. What is everybody? So what is? So we discuss the three types of the number: natural number, whole number, and the integer. So in the natural number, which type of the number? So any number we start with the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. They are the natural numbers. After if we add a zero to the natural number, it will become as the whole number. N group of the positive numbers, natural numbers, and the Zero. It is known as the integers. Okay. Now we have to discuss about the fraction. Okay. So you might have studied in a six standard, seven standard about the fraction. What is the fraction? Okay. If suppose I have apple, I divide into four equal parts. What can we say? 
apple is divided into four parts okay and the all the parts are known as the one fourth or the part are the one fourth of the apple okay so when we write any number in the form of the numerator and the denominator any number we write in the form of the numerator and the denominator then it is known as the fraction okay the upper part is known as the numerator and the lower part is known as the denominator okay so now what is a fraction to so part of the something i divide apple into how many parts four parts to so part of this apple it is known as the fraction one part is known as the 1/4 2 part is known as the 2/4 three part of the apple is known as the 3/4 okay and the four part all the part are together it will become as the 4 by 4 so 4 by 4 is equal to 1 okay to so any number we write in a which form numerator upon a denominator okay so it is known as the fraction fraction is a two part upper part is the numerator and the lower part is the denominator so got it everybody about the fraction okay and fraction is always the which type positive fraction is always the positive okay so all these types of the uh, numbers you study in a 6 standard 7 standard 8 standard now most important in the uh, number system it is the rational number okay so when you have to study about the rational number okay so rational number is also types of the fraction but here are different types of the fraction we can write as the like the fraction but it's not exactly fraction okay so now rational number so what is a rational number okay so when we write a number in the form of the p by q any number we write in which form p by q where p and q are integers what is where p and q both are the integers but what is the condition one condition is there where q is not equal to 0 okay so what is the rational number any number which we write in which form p by q which form p by q where p and q both are the integers and what is the main condition the condition is there q is not equal to 0 q is not equal to 0 for example if you write a 5 by 6 is it rational yes why because 5 and 6 both are the integers we return in which form p by q where 5 and 6 both are the integers so it is a rational yes it is the rational number okay so minus 3 by 2 it is a rational yes why because minus 3 and 2 we can write as a which form p by q where both are the integer here yeah, look here minus 3 it is also integer we discuss here the integer positive number negative number and the zero so minus 3 is a negative 2 is the positive so it is the integers okay so this number also we can write as the p by q form where q q means a denominator is not equal to zero because it is a 2 so it is also the rational number so mostly many numbers okay all the rational number all the whole number all the integer all the fraction they all are together known as the rational number okay so suppose we write a minus 5 by 7 so minus 5 by 7 rational number yes because minus 5 and 7 both are the integers so minus 3 by minus 2 yes it is also rational why because minus 3 and minus 2 both are the integers and minus 2 is not equal to 0 okay suppose we write a 1 is 1 rational number yes no yes why because we can write as the 1 by 1 okay only denominator is not given when denominator is not given we can write the denominator is equal to 1 okay for example 2 is given the so 2 by 1 3 by 1 minus 5 by 1 minus 7 by 1 so any number given any integer given so we can write in a p by q form so these are also known as the integers okay so we we'll discuss one number 0 is 0 a rational number yes why because 0 also we can write in which form 0 by 1 is equal to p by q where p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1 okay 0 will not write as a 0 upon 0 it is not possible 0 upon 0 okay we can write as a 0 upon 1 okay so now we discuss 7 by 3 so 7 by 0 so 7 by 0 rational no it is not a rational why not a rational because if we write in a p by q form okay both are integer but q is equal to 0 that's why it's not a rational what is the condition is there q should not be 0 but here q is given a 0 
the next right is known as the not a rational number what did everybody do you understood we discussed the different types of the number which are the numbers rational numbers whole numbers integers fractions and the rational number okay if you see the sum number are the only integers sum numbers are only whole numbers okay sum numbers are only uh, suppose ke if we check suppose if we check a 1 by 2 the which type of the number 1 by 2 it is the either fraction otherwise it is the rational number okay 1 by 5 it is also fraction if you check minus 3 the minus 3 which type of the number the minus 3 is the integer otherwise it is the rational why because we can write as a minus 3 by 1 okay so some number are only rational some numbers are the fraction some number are the integers okay suppose the minus 3 so we cannot say it is a natural number because it is the integers so all the natural numbers integers fraction are the rational numbers okay now today we will discuss about the inserting the rational number okay suppose two rational number given and we have to insert any numbers between them okay so we can add many numbers okay between two numbers there are many numbers are there okay suppose two numbers are given one by two and one by three so these both are rational okay and we have to add five numbers suppose we have to add how many numbers five numbers between them so what we'll do first we'll check the denominator what is the denominator are given now one by two and one by three means the denominator is given a two and the denominator is given a three so first we'll find the lcm what is the lcm of the two and three the lcm of the two and three is equal to six okay so then we'll convert this number into the like fraction we'll convert into the like fraction means we'll uh, call compare the denominator means uh, we'll make into the same denominators okay so look here is your one by two given we have to convert LCM into 6. Okay, so we will multiply by 3. If we multiply by 3, it will become 3 by 6. We have 1 by 3 given to 3 to the 6. We will multiply by 2. So it will become a 2 by 6. So now which two numbers are there? 3 by 6 and the 2 by 6. Okay. Now we have to insert of 5 numbers. So when we have to insert a 5 number, we have to multiply by 1 more. Okay, means of 5 plus 1, 6. Suppose we have to add a 4 number, then we will multiply by 5. Suppose we have to add a 2 number, then we will multiply by 3 okay so now 3 by 6 and 2 by 6 so both the numbers will multiply by 6 by 6 if you multiply by 3 by 6, uh, 6 by 6 it will become 18 by 36 it will become a 12 by 36 now check denominators are the same but numerator are the different so 18 and 12 so between 18 and 12 many numbers are there so which number are there 17 16 15 14 13 so we write 17 by 36 16 by 36 15 by 36 14 by 36 and 13 by 36 okay so we can add many numbers like this. We will take the another example. 3 and 4. Okay. So look here. This both are the which type of the number? This both are the natural number. Okay. So this number are not given in the form of the rational number. Okay. So look here. Suppose if you write in a P by Q form, it will become 3 by 1. It will become a 4 by 1. Okay. So now check here. Here the denominator is given directly same. Okay, so whatever the first step was there, converting into like fraction, that will be not here. Why? Because both the denominator are given a same. Okay. We suppose given 3 by 1 and 4 by 1. And suppose we have to add 3 numbers. How many numbers? We have to add 3 numbers. Okay. What was the rule? By which number we have to multiply? We have to multiply by 3 plus 1. We'll multiply by 4. What will do? 3 by 1 multiply by 4 by 4. And 4 by 1 multiply by 4 by 4, so it will become 3 4 za 12 by 4, it will become 4 4 za 16 by 4. Okay. So now denominators are equal. Okay, so which number are between them two? So 13 by 4, 14 by 4, 15 by 4, and 3 numbers are there. Okay, they will write only 3 numbers. Okay. So what did everybody? So between two numbers, we can add many numbers. Okay. So now we have to do some assignment here. I will give you one assignment. Okay. Add five rational numbers between. First is given now minus three by two and minus two by three. Second. 3 by 5 and 3 by 6 and third 4 and 6 okay so this three sum you have to try okay 
तो अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट ओके तो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रेशनल नंबर हाउ टू कन्वर्ट रेशनल नंबर इन टू द डेसिमल एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट डेसिमल इन टू द रेशनल नंबर ओके